What's going on everyone? It's been a while since I've been on camera and I really did miss you guys. So this video today is about five stocks that I see as very undervalued right now. But listen guys, if I helped you in any way in the past, whether it's make some money, educate you on stocks or options, or just brighten your day, please make sure to like and subscribe so we get our family to 100,000 subscribers and so I can make us $100,000 in gains for 2021. Bitcoin isn't a stock, but I started using BlockFi to get up to 8.6% interest on holding my Bitcoin with them. So check out the link in the description and they also hook you up with up to $250 in free crypto when you make a deposit. All right, without further ado, let's discuss the stocks that I have for you guys that I think are home run plays. The market has been volatile and a lot of investors have seen red days for this week and it's been tough for everyone out there. Some of those penny stocks and risky bets I don't talk about have lost money so it's time you guys tighten up your portfolio and get smarter about what you're investing in and also get serious because this isn't the time to dial in massive risk. This is the time right now to preserve your wealth and make some smart money plays. It's time to pick more certain plays in high growth long term stocks so you can grow your wealth long term and not gamble in the short term. The first one I have for you guys is Palantir. Palantir chief operating officer disclosed in a filing with the Securities and Exchange Commission that he sold 757,510 shares between February 19th and February 23rd at prices ranging between $24.59 to about $29 on the higher end. Proceeds were about $21.5 million. The stock is following around some key levels of around $25 per share, and it is, in my opinion, on a very big discount when you look at the long-term picture. The COO, by the way, still owns 2.8 million shares. So guys, it's not that he doesn't like the stock, the man just wanted to cash out some money just like anyone else would so he can use that money for his lifestyle. So I'm not so concerned that this man is selling all of his shares. It is not that much of a red flag to me right now. Now, if he sold his entire portfolio, that would be an issue to me, but he did not do that. So I'm still bullish on the management and executives at Palantir. Now, Palantir has a lot of things going for it that make me very bullish right now. For one, they have revealed a multi-million dollar expansion of its collaboration with the conglomerate 3M. And 3M is a blue chip stock. They have a ton of money. So 3M will be expanding its use of Palantir's Foundry platform during its undergoing digital transformation to build a dynamic supply chain and be able to respond nimbly to changes in demand across tens of thousands of products, guys. I know that was a mouthful, but listen here. 3M is a blue chip stock and they're using Palantir. And my belief is they're not going to be leaving Palantir anytime soon. I think we need a saying, once you go Palantir, you never leave Palantir. And I can't see 3M or any large company leaving once they get integrated into Palantir's database using their data analytics and cloud services. That way Palantir has a strong foothold on a company like that because that company is now hooked to the Palantir services and the Palantir software. And that company cannot just release those services without losing so much of its data processes. The value add is huge and it's crucial to a company. So I expect 3M to stay long-term. They also have a distribution deal with my most recent employer, IBM, another blue chip stock that has money to spend for a service like Palantir's. I love Palantir stock long-term. Palantir expects to earn four $4 billion in revenue by 2025 and it expects revenue to grow more than 30% in 2021 alone. The first quarter should see revenue growth actually higher than 30% at 45%. Now this stock is a strong buy at under $25 per share in my opinion, which is why I recommended my Patreon members to sell puts at around $23 strike for a very good entry price. I mean, if you're gonna be buying Palantir and you get that $23 price target right there, you're gonna have a good entry price for those long-term gains. I'll have a video up for you right here about selling puts. Selling puts are a phenomenal way to enter a stock. Now let's talk about the next stock we have on my list, which is Jivo. A subscriber sent me an article yesterday about US airline CEOs to meet with the White House on cutting edge carbon footprint initiatives. And what has me excited about this is that the obvious solution is biofuels. Air travel contributes, by the way, guys, around 2% of global greenhouse gas emissions. The Air and Transport Action Group said that, by the way, 
and that percentage is expected to rise rapidly in the coming decades if airlines do not quickly switch to sustainable aviation fuel. Now, Givo, this is where Givo comes in. This stock is amazing because it has so much opportunity, especially with the airlines and other industries, by the way, but the airlines are gonna be the bread and butter because the aviation industry is looking to get biofuels from good sources like biologically sourced wastes like cooking oil, animal fat, and plant oils, and it's much more expensive than traditional jet fuel. However, Jivo is working on biofuels, and since the company is so efficient with turning their land into efficient biofuels from corn, from animals, from all types of waste, I think they're going to be able to reduce the cost enough to supply the big airlines with fuel at a price that makes sense to the airline and can profit Jivo very handsomely. So that's gonna be an opportunity for Jivo to really capitalize on. Plus, United has committed to a multi-million dollar investment in carbon capture, a technology that is designed to suck carbon dioxide from the atmosphere as part of their plan to be 100% green by 2050. So airlines understand the importance of going green and sustainable with their fuel needs. Jivo went up a lot from when I first recommended it, but now it has pulled back to some key levels and the price levels that I'm looking at right now are the same price levels when I first started recommending this stock. The share price was close to $15 on February 12th and I think that Jivo could easily go back to those levels if news gets out of more airlines making green initiatives. And I mean, it's already obvious that the airlines are trying to go that way and they've been trying to go that way. So Jivo has a lot of short-term catalysts that I'm going to be paying attention to. Now, let's not lose sight of the fact that Jivo stock was priced at around just $4 and change at the beginning of 2021. So this stock already, in other words, is in the bull's minds. These bulls are in control of Jivo's price action and the bulls are intact. They're not letting go because they see opportunity here just like I see opportunity when I let you guys know here on this YouTube channel, because I think Jivo is uniquely positioned to take advantage of President Joe Biden's policy. It's reasonable to conclude that Jivo stocks increase in 2021 is in large part due to President Joe Biden's support of renewable fuel sources. And I don't see Joe Biden stopping his initiatives towards green energy. I also think it's not a coincidence that Bill Gates is the largest farmland owner in all of America as an analyst, I have a 15 price target short term for Jivo because of those multiple things from Joe Biden, from maybe some coincidence activities from Bill Gates, and also because biofuel as an industry is going to be very profitable because that's where companies are going to be headed, not to mention Jivo's technological advancing within the biofuel space. So short term, $15 price target is my opinion on the stock. However, $20 could happen by the end of 2021. The next stock I've done research on for months now, I picked it at $10 per share and subscribers who listen were able to 7X their money in a matter of months is Plug Power, ticker symbol P-L-U-G. The stock closed at a high of $73.18 on January 26th. And this is a hydrogen play, guys. They have relationships with top brands like Amazon. And this stock has been a favorite amongst green energy investors, just like fuel cell energy. That's another favorite amongst investors that we're gonna talk about very soon. Now, surprisingly, Plug Power actually reported a net loss that actually widened at 476 million dollars or about one dollar and 12 cents a share and i still like this stock but that loss did surprise me however this stock has retracted to under 50 dollars per share so it has gone down a whole lot in terms of its price momentum and i'd say i'm a bit more cautious on plug power but i think that buying shares and selling 50 calls for a nice covered call is a great play right now and if you want to see a free video on covered calls check out the top right card i'm linking my options video on selling calls so you can make a fast money play on this stock because when you sell covered calls you're taking in that premium and you're creating a margin of safety for the stock that you're owning right there and plug power is still a stock that i'm very bullish on long term however in the short term i don't see why you shouldn't sell a covered call so you can collect that premium and make some money either way i am again bullish on plug power at these key levels because it has retracted a whole lot next stock and i just mentioned this stock is fuel cell ticker symbol fcel 
you have to be prepared to make money on green energy, guys. If you're not prepared to make money on green energy, I just don't know what you're doing. I don't know why you're even watching the channel. Just hop off and go for those boring blue chip stocks that make you 5% returns. If you actually want to make money, you need to be in innovative stocks, disruptive innovators, green energy, EV stocks, and fuel cell is one of the stocks that I am looking at right now. We as a YouTube family, we bought this stock a while ago. If you were watching the channel, if you were subscribed, if you're a part of notification gang, we bought it a while ago when I talked about fuel cell before it took off. And after this pullback now, I like this stock again. Let me know if you guys have this stock before and made some gains on it with me. With all due respect, I think fuel cell has some weak revenues, but it has a lot of opportunity again because of the Biden administration. It has a lot of opportunity because it's also working with ExxonMobil. I'm bullish on fuel cell because of their partnership with a big company like ExxonMobil and they need to capture carbon technology. ExxonMobil is working on capturing carbon technology. Therefore, fuel cell is just having a partnership that's going to make them consistent money. And again, they don't have a whole lot of revenue right now, which is a little bit of a problem. It is harder to value the stock. However, based on that partnership alone, they're gonna have so much money coming in into the future because Exxon has a lot of cash and they need to make that transition. For those reasons, for Biden administration and for ExxonMobil, I think fuel cell is going to be benefiting a lot and this stock could potentially see a big spike and a heat up in its price momentum because investors are gonna want in on the cash flows that are gonna be coming in sooner or later. You know, it's hard to say exactly when, but I can't see them not making more cash flow in 2021. And for those reasons, I'm surprised that fuel cell is now under $20 again, and I can see this stock being a very good purchase right now. I think we could see these types of stocks like plug power and fuel cell go much higher, especially as more good news comes out into the market. And are these blue chip stocks, guys, am I 100% certain about plug power and fuel cell specifically? I was in the past, I was very confident in them, but right now it's not easy to completely dump all of your cash into them because you still have to be safe because these energy companies, they're not consistently profitable even though they have large subsidies in place, they're just not making the cash flows that I like to see. The company could potentially make use of some of the R&D money in the stimulus package, which I think is another pro for the stock. And I'm purely looking at the charts and discussing this one based on investor behavior, guys. This stock just honestly, it just sold off way too much for me to ignore. So I really wanted to mention it in this video and I might personally throw in 500 bucks on it and just see what I can do with fuel cell as a long-term energy play along with plug power. I'm gonna be adding some shares of plug power because I wanna be invested in the energy plays because I wanna go for aggressive returns, especially as we see the market selling off a little bit. We see a little bit of a red day. We wanna take advantage. We wanna take advantage of the opportunity, guys, and I really recommend you put some cash to work. If you have some dry powder laying around, you really wanna execute it right now. It's really smart for you to executing some smart plays right now so you can get in on the long-term growth. The stock has some mixed performance recently, and that is exactly what I like about it because when there's blood on the streets, that's when I find it interesting to put some money to work. Now, last stock I wanna talk about is Tesla, ticker symbol TSLA. You probably already have it in your portfolio. If you don't, it is an interesting play right now. I personally got 1,000 shares of Tesla. That is the majority of my personal portfolio, and it has been a tough time holding the stock from its peak close of about $880 per share. It has been tough being a shareholder recently. The stock is currently in the low 700s right now, but I'm sure you know, or you may have heard of the saying, don't be a donkey. Selling Tesla right now makes absolutely no sense unless you like missing out on the best long-term growth stock out there. Tesla is a $1,600 stock and will reach two trillion in market cap by around 2023 if they continue to execute and grow their revenues like they have been. It's a stock that has a lot of growth prospects. It has a lot of opportunity. Sure, it's not cheap, but I think the execution is beyond what any other company is capable of. We have Elon Musk that is executing on the vision of Tesla. He has not been wrong. He has done everything he has said he would do with the Tesla vehicles. And I like that Elon Musk also put $1.5 billion of cash into Bitcoin. I think that is a smart play. He's doing it much earlier than the other S&P 500 companies are. And reports have shown that Tesla has made nearly $1 billion on its Bitcoin investment. And Bitcoin has absolutely killed it. It is now over $50,000 per coin, which is exactly why I recommended you guys get paid for holding Bitcoin with BlockFi in my link in the description. I love BlockFi and I've done my research. 
They actually pay you interest for holding your Bitcoin, which you're gonna hold anyways. And they also have a 30 day deposit promotion where you can get up to $250. I think Tesla is one of the most incredible companies of our era. And there's a big chance Tesla will extend the leadership in the EV space to other lucrative industries, such as renewable energy and robo taxis. And last Thursday, Tesla cut the price of the cheapest version of its Model Y and its best selling Model 3 car by $2,000 each. And some investors are worried, but I believe that they did this because they simply can and they can afford it. Their profit margin is so big and battery costs are declining. So Tesla can lower the price and put pressure on the other competition and gain market share. If you have any questions or comments, leave them below. I make videos pretty much every day. So if you want something answered, I'll write it down in my notes and I'll potentially include it in my next video. Make sure you pounce on the 30 day deposit bonus with BlockFi and I'll see you guys in the next video. Don't forget to be aggressive in learning, but be safe in investing. No one ever sees me, sees